down to uh, Kentucky Lake to do a bow fishing video with Backwoods Bloodline TV with uh, Dave and Tyson Henry and hopefully everything works out all right. We'll be able to go out with uh, Harold Knight and do some fishing while we're down here. Check us out on the procedure. <laughs> Put it on them today, boys. Stay tuned. Boys, that's right service there. right there, old buddy. He got, he the, got truck the truck hooked up and ready. Up waiting on us. Kentucky Lake Outdoors. Best place you can buy anything. You go to Kentucky there. Lake, you better stop here and buy everything you need. Cheapest place in town, the best service, and friendliest people you'll ever meet. Now we're here on Kentucky Lake. This is my first smallmouth of this lake. And believe it or not, that's one inch from being legal keeper here. That's how big they gotta be. They gotta be an inch bigger than this. That's a really nice smallmouth, good four pound smallmouth. He's not gonna make it. He's fat dude, but he ain't long enough. Or I'd probably be bringing him back to Illinois with us. Hold him out so I can, let me zoom in on him a little bit and check him out, there we go. That is a nice smallie. Daryl Perry, Perry Twins Outdoors. We're down here at Kentucky Lake beating up the Big ready earlier. Here, I'll show you how. Whoa. Let's see how long he is. Let me step up here, see. He's a good 10 and a half, 11 inches. Maybe 11. 11 he's half. 11. He's 11. He's 11 inches. Good. Get over, get get over in here. There, Doug's got a red ear on here. Let's check him out, Doug. Boy, he ain't playing. Well, they don't play. They're off. Right. Yeah, that's good. a good one. That's a oh, real good man. one. Easy. I'm like a nut. I'll get a hook I got in him. I can't see. He just scoop him up. There you go. Oh, that is a big one. Man. That is a hog there, buddy. It's, it's nuts how big these things are. It's just, it's the video great. don't do them any justice, does it? You come down here to Kentucky Lake Outdoors and see Dave. He'll put you on some of these right here, I promise you. That is an absolute, that thing's big as a crop, is most crop you people catch. Here. Got, an, got him another red here on. Lucky dog. Good one? Uh, small one. Smaller one? That's still a nice red here, though. Still about 10 inches. Yeah, that's a small one. He's still, still nine and a half, good. probably nine and a half inches. Good one. Good. It's all good. All good. There he is. There he is. Man, he was right at us. It is. It's right there. It's right there. You got that on film. It's all female, isn't it? Yeah. Should go to the pond, buddy. Yeah. Doug, I've every time Gary and put it on some uh, some big red ears. We uh. Plan to go boat fishing tonight if uh, weather permits. Hopefully, uh, the weather's gonna permit. The weather's yeah. gonna the weather's gonna permit, huh? Me and, me and Mother Nature's gonna have a talk. I'll just kind of show you the boat that we're fishing out of, thanks to to Dave and Mr. Average his old fishing boat. Nice boat, this rides old, great. Dingy, that's all. Twenty-one foot Ranger, custom wrap, and uh, the two fifty Yamaha V Max on it gets the job done out here on this big lake. God. Dougie. So Dougie shot one. It's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Give me a 
you a drink. He's up against the boat, I can't get hold of him. What you got there, Dougie? Folks, this camera keeps blurring out because of the, yeah, of the light. lighting, but that's all right. First fish of the night. First shot. Y'all shot one dead in the spine. He's paralyzed. Paralyzed him. He never, even gave him any, he never even gave him any fight. You got to get down there and get him, Drill. Can't take much video without the light on, and we're keeping the lights off and just shining them and shooting them, so it's a... Uh, Pretty hard for us to actually get any video of us shooting them. Kind of the you're getting the after effect of the shot. That's got to work. That's gonna leave a mark. The mouth on that thing. There he is. Yeah, he's twenty. Well, sure. Like a male, like a male channel cat. Good time in it. Wow. It's about 30. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah. It's a hog. That's a good one. Yep. Man, he's going nuts. Doug just shot him once, stuck him right in the head. Not a giant one, but it's a good. It's still a good one. Out here with the Backwoods Bloodline Boys, Kentucky Lake uh, Outdoors, doing some uh, some uh, fish management, right. some rough fish management. It's destroying our ecosystem, I guarantee you. That's a good one, Doug. Good shot. I'm kidding. Oh, Dougie, old Dougie got him another one. Another good shot. There you go. Tyson. Yep, now I blanked that on. There you go. That's a big one, man. Well, Doug just smoked a spoon, another spoon, Bill. Good spoon, Bill? Pretty decent. Pretty decent. You know, monster. And why right are we? Head, why are, I am getting so much total blur. That's all right. It, it'll, it'll, there it goes. It just got to find some light. Not bad for a loser. Not bad for a loser. <laughs> not, 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 not bad for a weirdo. For a weirdo. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, Dave, you want to dance? He's doing the spoon bill dance with him. Yeah. Daryl got a big old spoon bill. Got to put another arrow in him. We've been smoking him. Man, he is strong, buddy. <laughs> I ain't he kidding. He's this probably, is he's something I always wanted to do was shoot spoon a big spoonie. Bill. Probably 35 pounds anyway. Trying to keep this focused. We're not using any light. Get another arrow in him. We got two yeah. arrows in him now. Nope. You didn't get him? He missed him. <laughs> he was Throw diving. Away. There, we go. there you go. Reload. Get an arrow in him. Not very tough. I can't get him up high enough to get to it. Get to yeah, it. I was just trying to look down the shaft and shoot him. I think I missed one of these. Here it comes. Got him that time. Good shot, man. Got two arrows in him. Good job. Good job. Now get him in. There he is. Get him. Let's go ahead. Get a hold of it. I got a hold of it. You need to put that wrist strap on, Daryl, just in case he goes crazy. Uh, yeah, those things there you go. Cheap. There you go. Oh. There he is. Oh, yeah. Keep a hold of them arrows so he don't beat me half to death and I don't catch this gaff in the gut. There you go. Yeah, he's 35, 40 pounds, probably. Uh, Good one. We got two spoon bills. We'll put him in this back one. All right. 
I got this walk around me. Just watch the battery. That's probably horrible video, but. Oh, your breath smells great. Sorry. Your breath smells great, he said. Got it. That is awesome. And I just lost my tag. You got an eight hour battery on that, don't you, Joe? Yeah. You don't need it. By the time he gets done. Trying to tie this and I gotta cut it back apart. You know what? I wish I'd never shown him how to tie my special knot. He could tie those dorky little kindergarten <laughs> shoestring knots. You know what? I ain't lost one fish, dude. You know <laughs> hey, now I know why you wear a Velcro strap shoes, yeah, huh? But see, if I had 200, 200 pound test on my on a on a rod and I shot 10 pound little fish. Now, if you find a 10 pound fish in there, maybe that one might be under 10 pounds. Shine, shine, in, the, uh, shine in the barrel here. Let me, get, let me take, a, take a look at it. All right, kind of just shine, shine off to one side so we know. There we go, right there. A little bit bright one. There's, there's the old spoon bill. About the ugliest thing. God ever created? Yep. Yeah. Except for you. Next to me and my brother, that's about the ugliest thing that exists, ain't it? Yeah, I'm going to start calling it spoony. Spoony. We got a buddy in Missouri named Spoonie, Spoonie and Goonie. I let, you think I left enough tag? Well, see, when you own an outdoor store, what you do is you leave tags like this on for your buddies. You sell, and you sell, you sell, you sell. They run out of line quicker. Where's your knife, Tyson? Right here. I it's set open. it up here so I can use it. But then that way you sell them more line. Mm. Open. All righty. Yeah, if you're ever down in Kentucky, you go to open. Kentucky. Kentucky Lake uh, Outdoors, you definitely they'll hook you up with about anything that uh, you guys need. And if you're ever up uh, around Decatur, Illinois, uh, they do not. Do not. Yeah. <laughs> Don't stop. Really we're near these, these losers. <laughs> might run into these guys. Yeah, that's about, that's about half the size of Spoonie y'all killed last night. Yep. Got two good ones last night. Yeah, he ain't near as big as the ones we shot last night, but you know what? It's a lot bigger than them other two. How about these for some bow fish and fish down here in Kentucky? We've been up over 24 hours and are wore out. We are dying. We had a blast out here tonight. Come down here, back with the bloodline. Shot some big old fish. Time to get some breakfast and get some sleep. sleep. We're wore out. That is all I want right there. Well, we're finally back in Illinois. Went down to Kentucky Lake, Kentucky Lake Outdoors, back with Bloodline guys. Shot some fish this week. I'd like to say a special thanks to Dave Henry, Tyson Henry, AKA Biscuit, for having us down, putting up with us. The uh, back with Bloodline guys really are some great guys. You guys need to get down there, check them out, go down to Kentucky Lake Outdoors and see them. I'd like to say thanks to TJ. AMS Bowfish and Pro Staff for uh, allowing us to use this boat and take us out. We had a great time. Thanks for watching. We're Perry Twins Outdoors.